Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about performing calculations on the result of an aggregate query. Now, first off, if you don't know what an aggregate query is, look in the description below the video. I'll post a link to my other video talking about aggregate queries. It's where you can do sums, totals, max, min, average, and so on of a set of data. That's called an aggregate query. Now, aggregate queries can be very difficult to put other calculations inside of based on the results of those aggregate queries. So let's talk about that example in this video. Michael from the UK, one of my expert students since 2014, writes, I'm having trouble with calculating the number of years between two dates. In my aggregate query, I have a field alias first date set min. So the min of first date. So in other words, the oldest of the dates and a second field alias last date. That's probably set the max. Both are from a field named payment date. So he wants to see what the first payment date was and the last payment date was and calculate the years between those two dates. I get it. I've watched your tutorials and have tried always, but have been unable to get it to work. It keeps rejecting the field name. Can you help? Michael, I know exactly what's happening. The problem is, is that your query doesn't understand what first date and last date are when you're trying to do the calculation on them. Let me show you. All right, here's my sample database template. Let me open this up. I've got customers. Customers have orders, right? Right now, I only have order ID, customer ID, and order amount. Let's throw order date in that table. All right, order T, design view, right here. I'll put order date. You're using payment date. I'll use order date. It's the same thing. All right, this will be a date time value. Save that. Let's put some data in it. All right, order date, we'll just put in here 11, 115, 130. Oh, I put 15, that's okay, it doesn't matter. 21, 25, 31, 315, 41. Mix it up a little bit, 1, 2, all right, 2, 1, okay. So we got a bunch of dates in there. Now, for each customer, all right, here's customer 1, customer 1, customer 5, and so on. I want to see their first date and their last date. So let's go create an aggregate query, create query design. All right. Bring in the order table, close that. I want to see, let's bring in the customer ID, the order date. Now, if I just turn it into a totals query, now an aggregate query right now, this is what I got. It groups by each of these. All right. That's not what I want. I don't want to group by the order date. I want to see, let's say the first order date. So we'll go to min. All right. There we go. That's the first order for each customer. Customer one, two, three, four. See that? It's grouped by customer, and I'm getting the min of order date. Now, I don't want to call it min of order date, because that's what you see in the table here, right? Min of order date. So we're going to alias that, like you did. We're going to call this first date. For first, let's call it first order. That's how you do that. So now I have first order in my results. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing again. Bring in order date a second time. We'll set this one to max and then I'll come in here and go last order. Now I'll get the last order date. I'm going to save this real quick. Let's go just order Q is fine. All right, run that. And there we go. There's the first order and the last order. Now you want to figure out the difference between these dates. All right, you want to do years. I'll just do days. You can use the date diff function if you want to. I'll put a, a link in the video below or in the description below the video for the date diff function. But remember, in Access, uh, a unit of one is a full day. So I just want the number of days between these since I didn't use very big function, uh, very big dates here. So I'll come right over here, and I'll say uh, days diff is last order minus first order, right? And now I'll run it. And this is what's happening to you. It says last order. It has no idea what last order is. Why? Because it hasn't evaluated this yet. This doesn't get figured out until the query's done running. It doesn't know what last order is because it's still got to calculate it. All right, if you hit okay now, it's going to give you first order. It doesn't know what those fields are. It works. All right, you still see values in there. That's what you want but it can't evaluate that at first. So the, there's two ways to fix this. There's a simple solution, which I'll show you right now in this video. Then there's a little more complicated solution that takes a little more work. I'll show you that in the members extended edition. So let's go in here. Here's the way you fix this. Take this out of this query, delete, save your order queue. Okay. Now 
make a second query. Create, query design, bring in your order queue. Now, this query is gonna run first. Once this is done, now you've got all three of these values in the query itself. And you can come right over here and say, days diff is going to be last order minus first order. Now when I run the query, you get it without any parameter prompts because first order and last order are evaluated by the first query. When that is done, you can now pull those values into this query and I can save this as order two queue. All right, you gotta have order queue for order two queue to run. If you wanna use date diff, you can put date diff in here as well. All right, you can come down here and say, uh, you could say the year is diff, All right? That'd be date diff. Why, 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 why? Oop. Y, 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 comma, uh, last order, comma, first order, like that. And I'm going to get all zeros. Yeah, because these aren't very big dates. Let's change. Well, see, I can't change these now. This is not an updatable record set. That's one of the things that you have to deal with is that this comes from the other query. So if I come back over to the table and make a change, let's go to the order table. Let's change this to uh, 11-1990. And we'll change customer five, this to 11-1980. All right, now if I run order two Q, you can see there's your differences. Oh, I got them backwards. Same thing. With date diff, I always, I always get these backwards. <laughs> right? This should be first order. So if you do the same thing, don't feel bad. First order and last order. That's to the point now where I just, I just absolute value this every time I run it. <laughs> okay. So that's the simple solution. Just make two queries. Now, if you don't want a million queries in your database right? Taking up all kinds of space. I can show you how to do it with one query. It's a lot more work. I'll do it for the members in the extended cut and uh, join the channel and you'll have access to that one. If not, this is a working solution for you. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different perks that are available. Silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and share. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and be notified of any new releases. Check for additional resources down below the video. Click the show more button. And you'll see a list of other links to other videos, downloads, resources, lessons, and lots more. If you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, it's three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that's free for my members. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can post your question there. Also, be sure to stop by my Access Forum on my website, and also look for me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time.